Okay, so here's the top of the pier, and yes, that is a brake rotor. This is a pier I made out of a welding gas bottle, and uh, I welded a brake rotor on the bottom and a brake rotor on the top. And uh, that's a, uh, you know, I drilled a few holes for for uh, mounting the telescope. And there's the wedge. And the telescope's over here on the ground, on a pad. And uh, LX200, meet LX200. So uh, the the uh, tripod, I'm not using the tripod. I may end up selling it, I don't know. And, it, you know, it had this thing here, this thing for the wedge. Um, so I kind of needed to duplicate that. And, you know, it had these holes uh, to screw the wedge down in. Oh, here's the dog. Doggy, hey, serious. There he is. Anyway, so it had these holes here. Uh, this is my messy observatory. Uh, and uh, I had to duplicate that to mount the telescope onto this because this circle right here is too small. So I needed an 8 inch piece of metal. So I bought this piece of metal. And uh, that's about how it's going to go right there. And I bought this 8 inch uh, circle of metal and I foolishly thinking that. I could drill holes in it and stuff, but actually, I, you know, I needed a pre-cut piece of circular metal because I don't have a torch or any way to cut it into a circle like that easily. And um, so I bought this. It's a target. It's a, they shoot uh, metal targets, and it was only like fourteen dollars for this piece of metal. It's nice, but it turns out that that steel is uh, they call it AR five hundred, and AR stands for abrasion resistant, and the five hundred is Brunel hardness. So it was really hard. So I took this piece of metal and annealed it by putting it in my barbecue and getting it up to 750 degrees. And then I took, I do have a map gas torch. And then I heated it up with a map gas torch until it got to 1,000 degrees. Then I let it cool off real slowly. And then I could drill holes in it. And you can see I drilled a whole bunch of holes. And uh, some of these are a mistake. Like these, these two here are, um, I was off by 6 degrees on my north line. So I had to drill extra holes. Then I welded a piece of two-inch steel onto it, and uh, just it's just welded. It's my crummy weld job here, but it's good enough to hold. And that's a quarter-inch uh, slot. Just drilled some holes and filed them till they were. Now that's where this this pin on the look at the wedge. This pin here, so you can adjust east-west, and then this allows you to adjust north-south. So there you go. Meet LX200. That's a super wedge, and I. That's the adapter plate for the pier, and that's just. I think it's a three eighths inch uh, target, it's eight inch circle of metal, and with a two inch piece, about three inches long, and then that's a quarter inch slot, and I think that's a half inch hole and. These two, these ones, where they're they're actually threaded. I um, I used a tap on those to thread them. Uh, five sixteenths, eighteen, and uh, that's it. That's the adapter plate. All right, so now it's attached. Good and solid on there. Uh, I'm only using four screws because I only bought four. Now uh, there are five holes, and the fifth hole doesn't line up. So um, I have a, on this pier. I drilled a four inch reach in hand hole, so I actually literally just nut and bolt that on. And uh, there's my, that's south that way, so north is this way. And uh, yeah, it's good and solid on there. And uh, this pier is real heavy duty. It weighs, I don't know, maybe 100 pounds or something like that. Well, upwards of 80 pounds, I know. And, uh, there you go. All right, it's all mounted up. See, uh, there's the level. Can you see it? I don't know. It's pretty level. Not perfect, maybe, but pretty close. And uh, so I got a really low-end camera on it right now. Just the uh, just the uh, a Celestron Next Image camera that I'm using just to learn the telescope. Uh, this scope is a uh, set up for a guide scope. I uh, got an ETX-90, the guy sold me with it. So um, down here is the 
this is the, the system to for the left right adjust so that's really nice and then of course this super wedge is awesome it's like bulletproof super heavy duty so well i'll tell you what though mountain the yoke and the ota and oh that is heavy that is uh, that is some scary stuff there lifting that up but anyway there it is in the observatory there's my it's on my well let's see there's my north mark there i guess i have to adjust it a little bit but I, you know since i took it all apart i'm gonna have to realign it i didn't have it all that closely aligned i'm gonna i figured a drift align somewhere along the line so anyway so there it is and uh yeah pretty nice oh i, I ordered a gmi moto focus for the course focus and of course it's got the fine adjust focus right there so that's gonna be sweet oh there it is 